I'd like to respond to the federal invocation of the Emergencies Act. First of all, uh, these illegal blockades have to stop. Canada is a country based on the rule of law, and it has to apply to everyone, regardless of what cause they stand for. And so I once again urge the folks involved in the blockade in Ottawa uh, to move on and to continue their protests in le legal ways. Uh, they can continue to raise their points. And I agree, agree with a lot of those points, for example, around opposing the federal trucker vac vaccine mandate. But the Prime Minister's decision now to invoke the Federal Emergencies Act disturbs me greatly. I raised my strong opposition on behalf of the Alberta government when we were consulted with other premiers earlier this week. And I understand we've since been joined by six other Canadian provinces opposing this unnecessary overreach. We have the tools that we need at the provincial level to maintain law and order, as it was, was demonstrated at the Coots border crossing earlier this week. But it, using for the first time ever these extraordinary powers uh, is, creates a very disturbing precedent. For the Prime Minister now and his government to be able to uh, arbitrarily freeze people's bank accounts, possibly based on the opinions that they have stated or donations that they have made, it, and without having to go to a judge, to court, to get an order. This is outside of our democratic norms, and it's disproportionate. Uh, yes, the law must be enforced, but we can do that in Canada without resorting to these kinds of extreme measures. And I've also urged the Prime Minister to turn down the temperature. Stop calling people you disagree with effectively Nazis. All that does is to further and irresponsibly inflame an already sensitive situation. So Alberta will continue strongly to oppose uh, this uh, unnecessary and I believe a counterproductive use of this extraordinary law, the Emergencies Act.